Hello everyone, this is SQL Depository and I am Saurus Pandey. Today we will talk about the new features in SQL Server 2019. Rather I should say the new developments in SQL Server 2019. So today we will talk about the table variables and how it, it used to behave before SQL Server 2019 and how exactly it behaved now. So I have a small example here. Uh, so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to set the compatibility level of SQL depository database to 140, which is SQL 2017 compatible. And then I'll create a table variable and then I'll insert a couple of records in the table variable. And then I'll perform a simple uh, select statement on the same table variable. And I'll look at the execution plan. Okay. So let me go ahead and uh, alter the compatibility level first. Then I'm going to create the table. You don't have to write those uh, script. If you want those script, then you can uh, get those script in the description below. So don't write, just look at the uh, demo. And if you want to execute the same script in your environment, go ahead and copy the script and do it. Okay. So now as the table is created, uh, so as it's a table variable, so I'll have to run all these scripts together. So let me go ahead and run all these scripts together. And, uh, uh, you know, uh, along with that, I'll also include the execution plan. So let me go ahead and execute this. And then I'll look at the execution plan for the select statement. And this is the execution plan for the select statement. If I'll take the cursor here, and if you look at the estimated number of rows, it says the estimated number of rows are one. Okay. But if you look at the actual number of rows, it is seven. So there is a difference between the estimated number of rows and, um, uh, you know, uh, the actual number of rows. And this was the problem till SQL Server 2017 when you are using uh, the table variable. And it was always recommended if you are using a huge table, uh, you know, use the staging table or, or use the intermediate table. Don't use the uh, table variable. Always use, uh, you know, temporary table because uh, the estimate with uh, the table variable were never appropriate in the SQL Server. But this is not the case anymore. Now, if I'll go ahead and uh, change the compatibility level to 150, which is SQL Server 20, uh, 2019 compatible, let me go ahead and execute this. And then if I'll execute the same statement again, uh, the uh, declaration of the table variable and then insert the same records and uh, then run the select statement on the table variable. And then if I look at the execution plan here, and if I'll take the cursor here, now you can look um, at the query and uh, you can identify that the estimated number of rows to be read is seven and the actual number of rows are also seven. So uh, now this is a big change in SQL Server 2019. Now you can um, use uh, uh, table variables more optimally because uh, they have the better estimates uh, from SQL Server 2019. But for that, you have to keep your database engine on SQL Server 2019 and you have to keep your database uh, 2019 compatible. If you have the database on SQL Server 2019, but it is uh, uh, not compatible, SQL Server 2019 compatible, uh, then uh, these kind of uh, uh, estimates are not going to work. It will still use the old uh, estimations. So uh, if you are using uh, the table variables a lot in your environment, uh, SQL Server 2019 is a way to go. You can improve the performance uh, of those queries. So this is what I wanted to cover in this session. Thank you for watching.